for the past few days, I have been thinking. I really do not understand the essence of everything that just happened. I really do not understand anything. I am still in shock. I am still pained. And I still do not understand anything. The event of last um, Wednesday brought a rude shock to all of us. Each and every one of those people on that boat that lost their lives were, were dedicated people. People that people were people that were so passionate about their jobs. That, that makeup artist was one of the best. That sound guy was one of the best. That PA, that PA was one of the best. Junior Pope was one person that had passion for, for, for his job. He had so much passion. He, he, the zeal he exhibits anytime he's working is something that amazes all of us. And it is a pity that he died doing what he has always loved. He loved this job. He loved it with all his heart. He loved his family. His, my God. It's just a pity that he was reduced to what he was reduced to on the internet after he died. He doesn't deserve it. Grown men. You see, grown men setting ring lights and talking rubbish. Saying things they don't even know. Giving fake narratives that they don't even know all because they want traffic to their page. It's so unfair. Very unfair. If you know the caliber of people we lost, all of you would have just kept your ring, ring, ring uh, lights aside and mourn. Proper mourning. Not Facebook or social media mourning. He was a very kind person. He was a nice guy. He was so jovial. He comes to set. He greets everybody. He is that good. And we are going to miss him. I feel so guilty. I feel, I feel like maybe if I had called him that day, he would have remembered to wear his life jacket. Maybe if I had called him. I, don't, I just don't know. This time you see me smiling inside my heart. I am feeling so much pain. But it's okay. Rest on. Rest on. There is nothing more to say. Just rest on. I hope you find that peace. That peace that eluded you here. I hope you find it over there. Mm. About Ginobo's death with others. Because we lost five souls. Just in one day. Okay? I just want to make it short. The truth of the matter is, Junior Pope has already given up right inside that river. Because Junior Pope lasted over two, two to three hours right inside that river before he before they before they saw him. You understand? Let me show you guys. This accident happened on Wednesday. Around 1.30, 1, 1, 1 p.m., 1.30. And uh, this is when, this is, the, this is the first video they sent when they are bringing JP's body out. And this video was sent to me, that's Wednesday evening. Around, they brought him out around 4.28 p.m. Accident will happen around 1, 1.30. They brought him out around 4.28 p.m. Ramalu came out and said and said that she provided a life jacket for them especially for JP and didn't know really where do you guys remember this video this video where the trend, where JP do where he post last for him page before this thing happened this video was he recorded this video on Tuesday on Tuesday was the first day he he, he crossed that river and visited that set. They've been the shoot for one bush by, on Mo Monday. They shot at the uh, Hawaii campus side, I think, for bush. So it, it was on Tuesday where they played Champions League. Now he, he entered this uh, river. 
that in the Gandara River for the first time. And on that Tuesday, he record this video. All right? And on that Tuesday, he record this video. I said, record this video. This video, as in they go this, uh, that location. This boat rider, which is this boat sailor, carried only him. You understand? He carried only him to that location. Now, if you go and watch this video very well, you will notice that, you will notice that this boat sailor is trying to trend, as in, he's trying to be seen on that video, this video where JP the record, because JP they put over here. They answer call or they talk to a person and they use one and they do selfie. Then that guy, that boat sailor, they back, they try to force himself to be on that video to the extent. Then they do a fizzy, they do under this, they find a way to see. So, anybody where they drive anything, whether bicycle or or boat or, or car, once you don't concentrate on your phone or they try to do selfie while driving, you must look, you must miss direction, is a must. But that's not the that, that's that's one of the that's one of the point I'm trying to make. Now, the next day where this accident happened, will be on Wednesday. JP now posted this video. We in record on the on Tuesday. He posted this video that Wednesday morning. Right? He posted this video on Wednesday morning. Before he, he prepared to, to go to that same location. Now, some people, a lot of people. A lot of people watched this video. A lot of people watched this video and they concentrated on, on just what he was saying without reading the caption he used on this video. Now, let me read the caption. See me lamenting, oh, the risk we take to entertain you crossing River Niger yesterday with no life jacket. Now, wow, who does that? All right? Now, if Adam Maluk have provided a life jacket, like she said, JP will not write this thing. All right? JP will not write this thing. Two, if they have provided a life jacket, there is no how JP will know where it. Then three, the boat seller have no right to, to sell a boat without a life jacket. Even him, as the seller, have no right to sell a boat without him wearing a life jacket. Do you understand? So now, I hate when people are trying to cover up their mistakes when they knew very well that they are wrong. I'm not blaming anybody. Me, I volunteered myself because JP and my boss and my friend, right? Those boys will follow by my one of them, my, they do PA for me for my productions and the other pressures and my sound bar, they do sound for me. So I cannot, I cannot just, I can't just fold my hands and watch them. So I have to, I have to pull body. Now, that day where this accident happened. One or two of them inside that boat wore a life jacket. Some people, some persons, they, they accuse one of the victims, which is TC Virus, that he was the one that caused the accident. That he was standing, he was standing and he was ringing bell. Now, let me clear that part. There is a video trending online that TC Virus was the one ringing bell, standing. Go and watch that video again because if something happened, we're going to rush to the watch things without analyzing. Go and watch that video again. That video was recorded on Tuesday. That same Tuesday where JP. That same Tuesday where JP recorded, recorded this video. That same Tuesday. This virus then first go that set before JP. And that day was the day um, this virus was ringing that bell and standing. Go and watch that video very well. JP, no did that uh, boat. JP, no did that boat. To show you saying that, the, that that's the one, which is on Tuesday. And they record that video. Wait till see stand the ring bell. The next day being Wednesday. Um, JP, 
was the person that was the last person that came to that uh, marine before they took off. They all waited for him and was calling him back to back to come. Made they go. Now he came, now came around that one for them to move. They all entered that boat without a life jacket. But one one or two persons rented the life jacket with their money, five hundred. Another thing is, those guys that rented that life jacket did not rent that jacket in the presence of JP. Because he came late. Do you understand? They don't rent that life jacket before JP came. Now, Adamalu came out and said that she provided a life jacket for them. That on Tuesday, what? Where JP do that video? The same Adam Maluk, who is the owner of that production, crossed that same river with the same boat without a life jacket. She herself did not wear a life jacket. So how did she provide life jackets for them? But she did not wear life jackets on that, on that Tuesday. All of them on that boat did not wear a life jacket. Including those ones who have been wearing life jackets. That on Wednesday where the accident happened. That on Tuesday, all of them, nobody wear anything. So now on Tuesday, and now on Wednesday when the accident happened, one or two persons now decided to wear a life jacket by renting it with their money. Anybody where they try to lie against the dead or uh -huh. lie to cover up mistakes, no make sense. Listen, I would have loved it if Ada came out to the public and start crying and apologizing than doing that kind of video. Though, let's be honest. That girl is depressed. That girl is going through a, through a lot because she can't even imagine it for her own production and all that, you know? But I don't know who advised her to come out to say that thing, she said. So, as soon as she came out and said, I paid for boats. As soon as she said she paid for boats, but she know ask proper question or make proper inquiries concerning a life jacket because she know Sabi both uh, movement or that kind of thing. Nothing for them more fair or more better than saying that she provided a life jacket for them.